Taylor Swift got tackled by her girl gang while celebrating the Kansas City Chiefs winning the Super Bowl 2024 against the San Francisco 49ers at Las Vegas Allegiant Stadium. After a very tight game and going into overtime, Chiefs wide receiver Meckle Hardman Jr. scored the winning touchdown, finishing the Super Bowl at 25-22. As soon as the Chiefs crowned themselves as the champions, Blake Lively, Ice Spice, Lana Del Rey and Ashley Avignon immediately surrounded the singer with hugs as they cheered and jumped in excitement. Down in the field, Swift's boyfriend and Chiefs tight end, Travis Kelsey, celebrated with his team. However, it wasn't long until Swift ran to her boyfriend as she watched him, alongside his mom and dad, Donna and Ed, his brother, Jason, and sister-in-law Kylie, hold the Vince Lombardi trophy, the couple, both 34 soon reunited as they kissed and hugged while celebrating the win. Just moments before the Chiefs made a comeback, an irate Travis landed in hot water for shoving coach Andy Reid for not putting him in the game. This is the fourth time the Chiefs have won a Super Bowl, with three prior championship titles in 1970, 2020, and 2023. This is Travis' third Super Bowl win. Swift made the whirlwind trip from Tokyo to Sin City Saturday evening into Sunday to make it in time to support her boyfriend at his big game. In the weeks leading up to the Super Bowl, there was a lot of speculation as to whether the Grammy winner would be able to make the flight since she had a previous commitment to perform in Japan for her era's tour. However, a source exclusively confirmed to Page Six last month that Swift would indeed be present for the long-awaited NFL face-off. It's a brutal flight but she'll get on her plane right after the concert, our insider told us at the time. She has been cheering on Kelsey since their love story became public in September 2023. Swift shocked fans when she appeared alongside the NFL star's mother at a suite inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri, on September 24. It was the first time the cruel summer confirmed she was dating Travis after weeks of speculation. Since then, Swift made a point to attend as many games as possible throughout the NFL season, and Travis, for his part. Video Prarambisu Daku, Muna Indinante, Nama Vinanti Endere, Nivinu Nama Channel and a subscribe Madi Lavendere, David to Eagle Nama Channel and a subscribe Madi. Hage Nirantara video updates Kaligagi, Tapade Pakada Bell Icon button Kuda, click Madi. Returned the favor during the international leg of the era's tour. The pro football player flew to Argentina amid the Chiefs by week for a date night in Buenos Aires with the love story Songstress. He then attended her concert alongside her dad, Scott Swift, and the couple infamously shared their first public kiss after the show. Taylor then spent the holidays with Travis and attended both of his games on Christmas Day and New Year's Eve. Taylor and Travis discussed it and there is a plan, an insider claimed. They will get engaged on their one-year anniversary in July. Although the relationship appeared to be blossoming, the focus was on Travis' NFL career for the rest of the month. When the Chiefs beat the Baltimore Ravens on January 24, Taylor was there to celebrate with Travis on the field when he and his teammates won. The tear-filled tight end embraced the Shake It Off singer at the time as they hugged and declared their love for one another in front of thousands of fans.